Jiminy. The crew, this is where they work. Just to set up props, backgrounds, green screen, everything. And sometimes they use practical effects, sometimes they use CGI effects. CGI can be considered like a low budget or something. Look at all this stuff. Stage 8. Each of the water with the cheese one is you put egg on the cheese, you put cheese on the eggs, cheese on the cheese, that's why. Whoa, this is super. Oh, it's starting to be a lot. We can probably fit the whole Bella Castle building, but we gotta get one of these for the nature. We're looking for sure. You're lucky for y'all. The Banks family mansion lives right here on the Universal lot, right? Some of Bel Air's most pivotal scenes have been filmed right here. Jamari, what have been your most memorable moments? Oh, 
Hang on, there's so many things wrong. You are the boy yourself when the world first enters, and at that moment, his life changes forever. What about you? Well, ooh, the Bellar Academy gym set is here too, and I remember you had to sing that for the ice bath. Studio Pose! Post office. I get it. It's where the crew memberships get package shipping packages whenever they order something, right? Right, Jiminy. Uh, before they can actually film inside a sound page, that's a there's a pre-production phase, which includes sculpting. It's a big fussy teddy bear. It looks so cute. On the side are the producers and the workers who come together to develop new ideas and get to a long time ago. These bungalows were dressing rooms. For a resource. Now they house production offices for movies and TV shows. Some really high profile companies are right here. Um, Wayne Johnson's company, Seven Bucks Productions, is here. Now, coming up on the left hand side, you see one of the most iconic bundles of the lot. That is Bundle 5195. It belonged to the incomparable Alfred Hitchcock, who reported such legendary work as. The Bird's Cycle and Vertigo Bungalow 5195, the most iconic bungalow on the lot. Now, coming up on the left hand side, you can see sound stages 25 and 26. These are our new ones. That's a lot of houses and where celebrities, Lopez, actors, and actresses live. Lopez, if you put them that way, Lopez, celebrities can be both and men and see women. They have parking spaces. I see that chimney. Now we are about to end with dressing the set. We can dress the sets any way we want. Wow! What a big place is. Oh, oh, I mean. Oh, grammar corrected? What are big places? Can I sing it right, Grammarly? I think I got it. Okay, I know what you're thinking. The city hall looks nothing like the clock tower in back in the future. Well, that's because uh, Courthouse Square became so recognizable after Back to the Future. Uh, filmmakers altered its appearance for their productions over time. So the clock tower stone facade is actually still here. It is just layered behind the city hall brick facade. So if we walk through the city hall right now, we can actually still see the clock tower stone facade right behind it. Yes, it is a facade. Uh, this location can be seen in so many productions. Here are a few examples. It is a facade you're looking at on the screen. Yeah. Psycho 2 is at each represents a different era. That is so our filmmakers can film a theater in any era without the same big perception. The New York Street comes complete with its own Broadway theaters and its own legacies. It's like we have moved 34th Street to Southern California. Um, you know who's really familiar with New York? Our co-host, Jimmy Fallon.